Hello everyone. I am Shubharna Ahmed. I am a lecturer in the Forest Resources Management Department. I did a PhD in Forest Biometrics in the same department and I also did Master's and Bachelor in Applied Statistics from the University of Dhaka. It's actually from my uh, home country, Bangladesh. I started teaching in the um, Geomatics uh, program from last year and it's a great experience for me to enhance my computation background in Python to analyze geospatial data. So I try to get back, uh, feed, get feedback from students time to time and incorporated them right away. Students uh, really like that. Students were very, very supportive and helpful to each other. I hope um, you, it will be the same experience for you as well. During the exercise time, I led students to work with each other, um, and most of them were very keen on learning and improving their compu computation skills. My most favorite part uh, in, in that course and in MGM program overall was getting the appreciation from them. Even if it's my job to provide the adequate assistance they need. Sometimes um, I work late at night and while I was going home, then I found that some students are sti still working. Um, I felt really bad because sometimes I try to extend the duty because when I found that they are really, really working hard to complete and then uh, learn more um, on Python. Let's um, say more about my uh, research areas. So in my PhD research, I quantified uh, growth and yield of improved genetics in the Canadian boreal forest. So I used meta modeling techniques. Um, I also developed some meta models and then shown the spatially how the growth and yields get impacted to, while we are moving provenances uh, around the boreal forest. And then I try to show the forecasting methodology that we can apply. And um, I also implemented an improved method for forecasting yield when we have the localized uh, methods, every localized measurements are available. Um, that includes the subject specific estimates. And then I actually uh, try to show the trend uh, and the, by showing the correlation in time for a localized prediction. I also um, worked as a postdoctoral researcher um, in three areas. Uh, one of them is wood science where I analyze vanier processing and use various um, machine learning approaches to develop a quantitative uh, quality regulator. Um, I will also try in, in geomatics um, where I can actually show you how you can analyze geospatial data in Python using some uh, machine learning techniques. So in uh, forest resources management department, I uh, wor also worked as a postdoctoral researcher in genomics. It's related to my PhD work and analyze uh, challenges um, that we face while, in, while we were improving the, you know, while we were actually trying to show the trend, trying to see what are the uh, challenges uh, in this um, field. And um, I worked with BC Ministry of Forest and um, Forest Lands and Natural Resource Operation to develop metadata sets by pulling the information of experimental units from various sources and identified impacts of fertilization on eels uh, to provide some insights on fertilization effects. So I analyzed various kinds of data um, and uh, I also work in Canada revenue agencies uh, while I um, actually develop many uh, efficient SAS macro. It's totally different from forestry field. So I like and passionate about um, handling and analyzing complex and big data sets and implementing some statistical methodologies and explore more on that area. I'm also passionate about teaching. Um, so during my postdoc, I taught statistics and computation courses in forest resources management department and in stat department. Um, also, I taught in two universities in China is through the two plus three program in UBC. Last few years I did that. And um, the computation courses I'm teaching are um, programming in R and analyzing geospatial data in using the um, GIS or QGIS. Also uh, how you can handle big data using in 
Microsoft Access and LibreOffice and how you can write structural query language, SQL, and write and record um, visual basic um, programming in Excel, VBA. And um, another, another one is Excel because this is the basic one where I start, um, start them explore the powerful tools in Excel to analyze and summarize data. Um, in the department, I also provide statistical consultation uh, for a short period of time though. Um, and it depends on my time and uh, towards the graduate students in our faculty. So this year I helped a few uh, MGM students as well while they were working on their project. So um, my teaching philosophy, I would say that to make the learning participative and supportive for multicultural students, the philosophy that I try to employ as a teacher is primarily to allow the students to participate, then think for themselves with an open mind in a supervised environment. So I try to be more approachable and make myself available um, and try to support and guide students throughout the entire process. So you will see that how I'm guiding you and then I'm also letting you explore um, the programming uh, because in programming there is no endpoint because there is no specific method that you have to follow. So if you know the basic, then you can explore and you can actually go, go beyond, beyond there so that you can make your uh, script really efficient. So that's my story. I'm looking forward to get to know you all soon. I hope you will enjoy learning geospatial data analysis using Python from me.